saw the news server on the home page. This, this is our results page. Um, there's a couple things to note about the results page. Um, first, that we're actually mashing together data from two sources. Um, Chris is tweeting. Let's see if that works. There we go. They may just need to point it more. Point it at Chris, and then Chris will hit the button. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so you can see Governor of Illinois, uh, well, I guess we can't put the Democrat or Republican on this screen, um, but you'll see on the sidebar, Governor, U.S. Senate, U.S. House of Representatives, Illinois Treasurer, all that data was coming to us from Thomson Reuters. Um, okay. Um, and then we have local results that were collected by uh, the Tribune reporters, like I said. Um, and amazingly, dot, 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 <laughs> in a Google spreadsheet, ah! <laughs> um, this is actually the, the absolute killer use of Google spreadsheets in my mind. Um, one, of the, one of the most powerful reasons why you might want to do this. Um, in the past, on election night, we have all these contention issues as far as, as getting data. We had all these contention issues as far as getting data into the system. Um, because we have anywhere between eight and a dozen uh, reporters who are on the phone talking to election clerks who are actually on site collecting data, either at City Hall, elsewhere around, uh, around the county. We don't really cruise that in the county. Um, and they're all bumping data into, they're all trying to dump data somewhere. And so Google Spreadsheets uh, let us manage that really effectively. Um, let me see if I can make, can you go back actually? Yeah. OK, cool. Um, so another thing that's uh, interesting, there's a couple things to note about this page. We have a search for candidate at the top. Um, one thing that you'll, find, that you'll find interesting is that uh, this database of candidates is completely separate from the editorial board's database of candidates. Um, and that's because the Metro, uh, the Metro desk uh, and those reporters and the editorial board um, don't mingle um, because the editorial board traffics an opinion, um, and the reporters are not supposed to traffic an opinion. Um, and so we actually enforce that literally at the level of data, two independent data sets for um, for uh, results um, and our endorsements. Even though it's the same candidates, the same races, uh, we create a we create a separation literally at the level of technology. Um, you can search for candidates with the little type ahead. Um, just like you can in other prints of the site. Uh, another interesting thing about this page that's really cool, um, if you like money, um, <laughs> which we do because we're in a dying business, um, <laughs> is that this advertisement follows you around the page. We only load one ad whenever you're looking at the page. But as you scroll around, you'll notice as you're scrolling around the site that there's gaps underneath each section of results. And once you scroll and uh, and a set of results are within your I, your sort of your viewport, um, then an ad will pop in right underneath those results. Um, so we have an ad following you around all the time. Um, that's really really important, and especially on a site like this. And we'll talk a little bit later about the, the just the dynamics of an election night and why it's important. Um, uh, from a from a news standpoint and from a business standpoint, um, but we have a captive audience here. People are spending some time on this site. Um, <laughs> the pictures are on the site, and we need to maximize the amount of ad revenue we can make off of this because we know that there's going to be people coming. Um, it's a guarantee, and that's rare in the news business, right? Like we don't necessarily know that a CK train is going to derail and going to be our biggest thing. Probably, probably this year. That photo of the train at the end of the tracks is probably going to be one of the biggest things we do this year. Um, we can't predict that. But we can predict the Super Bowl. We can predict an election. And so these are really, really important moments to try to kind of maximize the, the value that we get out of our web apps. I'm just, I'm just curious. If you wanted to, could you segment, for example, there's a bar in, in the first district and that bar just shows up under the first district where Mercedes shows across the rest of the Oh, yeah. Well, so that's a great question. So uh, we'd like to do more advertising. Um, and we'd like to sell more ads like that. Uh, there's some internal reasons why that's hard. We don't, I won't talk about that. <laughs> um, but we, we, would, we would very much like to do that kind of targeted advertising and, and 
clean and just be thoughtful about what people are looking at. Um, so yeah. speaking of ads, and feel free to ask, <laughs> I have an ad blocker on the browser, uh -huh. and I noticed when I tried to go to the this detail page, it wouldn't load at all. Ooh. And it might be because of the ad blocker, and also because I have this do not track me thing that seems to break, break havoc on all kinds of apps. But do you guys like have you thought about saying like you can't see this without seeing an ad as well, or, or do you do not go there? Yeah, we try to make our stuff work with ad blockers. We understand that people. Block ads. I mean, our, our team would like to sell more sponsorships, um, like to do stuff that actually would get around ad blockers anyway. Right. Um, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any of the results from uh, the analytics of how well that worked? Yes, I will show you. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, yeah, uh, we have more detailed analytics, which I'm not going to put up, but yeah, I'll, I'll go into that a little bit. Um, yeah. I just was curious, you, the, the, the local results, uh, how many reporters did you have in their entering results, and then did they have any other responsibilities that they had other entering results? That's the only responsibility they had. It was nine people this time, plus a coordinator. So, um, and everybody this time was actually on site. We didn't have anybody out. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why they... they why they go or they stay. Um, so we just wanted to say, like, as, as we're sort of tangentially, let's see, okay, let me get the back real quick. Um, so that last, keep skipping around here. Oh. Yeah, back and forth. Can you go back one? Okay.